family, what's good? This is your girl, and the Bronze Goddess, and it's actually time for another strawberry letter. But before I get into today's letter, I want to remind you guys to check out my book. It's called The Dating Game. How to find yourself while looking for Mr. Right. You can purchase it on Create Space, Amazon, and also download it right now on Kindle, all right? I'll be sure to link my book below. Anyway, without any further ado, let's go get him. Uh, I'm writing to you because I'm in desperate need of your advice. My husband and I have been fighting back and forth for over a month now over the same topic, his brother. Uh, his brother is in the middle of a divorce, his wife is leaving for nine months to go to the Navy, and his kids are going to their grandmother in Orlando, but we live in Kissimmee, which is right next door. So now his brother wants to move in with us. He currently lives in Virginia. I am not okay with this, for plenty of reasons for which I have explained to my husband on several occasions. But he tells his brother on the phone that I'm okay with it. His brother has does not work and never did. Uh, I only met him a few times. My husband and I got our place. We have only lived in our house for a month. Uh, we have a small daughter together and I don't feel comfortable with a grown man in my house with my daughter. Uh, I feel he's a grown man and he needs to take care of himself and stop living off of other people. This is why his wife is leaving him now. Uh, she was tired of not supporting him not supporting them financially. I would give him a chance but after his family has stabbed me in the back so many times it's hard to believe any good can come from this situation. My husband is now threatening me saying uh, if I don't let him stay he will move out and get a place of his own. He said he's tired of the way I am with his family. His family hates me. Why? I really don't know why. I wish I did. Uh, but he has stabbed me, but they have stabbed me in the back, talked about me, tried to break us up, they don't care about our daughter, you name it. It's hard for me to be cool with negative people like that. Anyway, can you please shed some light on this? I really need your help. I love my husband, but I feel like his family wants to end us. Okay, so anyway, I want to go ahead and jump right into it. Honestly, I feel like your husband is not in a place where he needs to be as far as maturity to even be married because there is no way that he's going to risk breaking up his family for his brother. There's nothing wrong with loving somebody, but loving them does not mean sacrificing your own happiness for theirs. Like, when he took his vows with you, it said forsaking all others. Honestly, I feel like your husband is in on this with them because he knows that your fa his family doesn't like you and he knows that you don't like them. Instead of him trying to keep the peace in his own home, he's too busy trying to be the perfect brother. So would he rather be an amazing brother or an amazing husband and, and father? For him to turn his back on you and, his, and your family, I feel like the, his family's their words start to get into his head. And the fact that he's threatening you, I really feel like it's it's not a good way to start off a marriage. It's not a good way to start off a relationship with husbands giving ultimatums like right off the rip. Especially when you don't, if you don't do what I say, I'm going to leave you. Like, so will you always have to do what he says? Will you always have to bend over backwards for his family? Will they always just impose on you? I feel like it's a setup, to be honest. Because you mean to tell me if their family is this close-knit, then why can't he go stay with his mother or his father or another sibling, a cousin, an aunt, an uncle, somebody? So why he has to stay with the one couple that does not want him there? I feel like he's in on it. Because to me, I would never want to stay where I'm not wanted. I think the brother is in on it, and I feel like the husband has allowed the the family's words to cloud his judgment and he's like you know what maybe they're right about her because if she can't let my family stay but he, he's asking for a lot and I feel like he's not in a place emotionally and mentally to even really understand what he's asking of you and I, I don't blame you I have three daughters myself and I am I feel exactly the same the way that you do I am very particular about when men come to stay with me I don't care stepfather brother cousin I don't care who it is I have three daughters and I don't I it's my duty to be very careful of who I around, allow around my children, especially because of the fact that they're girls. So if you don't want a grown man in your home, then you should have every right to say that. It's nothing, it's nothing wrong with saying he can visit, but he sounds like he wants to stay indefinitely. You said he doesn't have a job and he never did. So what's he supposed to stay with you guys, forever? Absolutely not. Your husband is asking for things that's just unfair. And I know that, you know, most people know that uh, a, adultery is a term or a, a ground in which you can, uh, you know, get a divorce if you're a Christian, but so is abandonment. If your husband decides that he wants to leave you and go get an apartment with his brother, that is ground for divorce. That is abandonment, clear and simple. The Bible, the Bible gives you an out in situations like that. You don't have to be st uh, staying with somebody who has made it clear that they don't want you. If your husband leaves you, 
then you can leave him. It's okay for you to go through with that. I'm not telling you that's what you should do, but I'm just making sure that you know that because everybody seems to know that adultery is grounds for a divorce, but so is abandonment and other issues like that. A husband's beating on you and all that. If your own father wouldn't allow you to go through that, then why would you think God would? So, um, no. I feel like your husband is immature and he's selfish and he's putting his wants, his needs, and his desires above you and his family. I can't believe that somebody would actually walk away from their own child just to be a good brother. His brother is grown. It's different if the brother was a minor and something happened to the parent and he was the only one, but his brother is grown and he said that's the exact same reason why his wife is leaving him. The wife is going to join the Navy so she can take care of her family. Like, now I see where they get it from. Like, he's immature, the brother's immature, and the family doesn't like you. I feel like they should all have each other. And families like this where they're not happy with anybody who tries to come in, they treat everybody like an outsider, they should all just stay together in one big house and never marry. Because no one else will ever be good enough for their, for their person and their family. And I, I just feel like the whole family is selfish. Because if the, if the mom wanted what was best, then she would say, you know what, I can't have my son. I'd rather you come stay with me. Come on, come stay with me. Don't you ruin their family. They just got married. They have a baby together. They just bought a house. You come stay with me. An aunt, an uncle, a cousin, somebody. There has to be somebody willing to take him. But to me, I, I believe when situations like this, a lot like the Bible says, if a man doesn't work, he doesn't eat. I'm not a big fan of taking care of grown, able-bodied, capable men who are just lazy. Not like you can't work, you've been injured, something like that, absolutely not. You, you know, this is a situation where he's able-bodied, he's just been lazy because his family has enabled him all his life and they're continuing to enable him. He will never become a grown man and stand on his own two feet as long as your husband and everybody else in his family are always gonna be his safety net. Whenever he falls, they'll be right there to catch him. And your husband, your husband is no better. So they're both gonna be single together, they're gonna get a bachelor pad together. They both are, they have the Peter Pan syndrome and they both don't wanna grow up. Just as the Bible says, a house divided against itself will not stand. And you guys are divided because your husband's, his true allegiance is to his family, but not the one that he's created with you, but the one he was born into. And, and it's not saying that he loves them any less, but there comes a time when a man's life, where he has to be a man and stand up for his own family and what he believes in. And, and I feel like there's a long line of people who are in front of you and your daughter. And a, it can't work that way. A marriage can't work that way. A union can't work that way when a brother, a cousin, an uncle, and everybody else comes before a man's wife. And so honestly, I feel like the relationship may have been doomed from the very beginning. Because if he went into the marriage with this mentality, the marriage was never going to work. Because he expected you to change. Most of the time, it's the women that expect the men to change. But he expected you to change. Once he got married to you, he thought that meant that he could do whatever he wanted to do. And, and you were actually, and you're surprising him by saying, I don't want this. This isn't what I signed up for. But anyway, I'm praying for you. But I definitely suggest that you pray for yourself and ask God to reveal to you what you should do in a situation. But I really feel like your husband's just not mature enough to handle the type of relationship that you require, which is one that's only made up of two people. Our relationship is only big enough for two people, and I don't even know how many people you got in this. But anyway, I love you guys. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment section. Be sure to pick up my book. It's called The Dating Game, How to Find Yourself While Looking for Mr. Right. Get it on Create Space, Amazon, or also download it right now on Kindle. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Till next time, later divas and dudes. This is honey.